So, <laughs> so basically, you're computer hacking. Sounds bad. <laughs> yeah, it is hacking, kind of, sort of. Kind of, sort of. Yeah. What would BMW say if you did this? Oh, they'll be pissed. <laughs> We got this car, a uh, good customer of mine, and he's complaining about misfire. So oh, we're gonna find out. What kind of car is this? This is a, a 2012 X5 V8 twin turbo, the 5.0. Nice. Big engine, so let's start diagnosing. Definitely a rough idle. It is. So we're gonna hook up BMW Ista and follow step by step diagnostics. thing is not happy right now. It's not at all. By the way, did you see that cool ass C5 Corvette back there? Pretty really cool, isn't it? Yeah. I wonder why it's so shiny. It's dirty as hell. You know a good detailer? Uh, yeah, I know a guy. Not a happy engine. So what's the diagnosis, doctor? Uh, let's figure it out. It's gonna take a minute. Let's see what we got. Oh, there's a problem with injectors X, Y, or Z, and uh, DME has a uh, internal fault. So let's do a uh, test plan. That was easy. Replace the DME control unit. We're talking about two thousand dollars right here. So what is what exactly is a DME control unit? DME is digital motor electronics. It's pretty much a PCM. So the BMW software is telling you you got to replace it. Yes, you have to put new one on it and reprogram it. And that's two thousand dollars just just for the parts part? and labor. Yeah. Oh, parts and labor. Okay. Yeah. But well, what is the customer gonna? Customer is not gonna be happy. Um, but there is another way around, which we're gonna find out in a minute. Okay. Tell me more. Well, I bought this tool to. I think it's gonna override the VIN number, 
from a used control unit to our car here. So, so what you're saying is you can, why can't you just put a used control unit in? Because they're VIN specific. BMW, once you put a VIN to that specific module, it's married to it for life. So, so then, even if it's the same make, model, year of car, yeah, it's not gonna work. if it's got a different VIN number? It has the code for the, uh, for the key, the security code. So. so there's no way, so no way you can put a... a used one, a, it will not work. But with the new tool I bought... What about an aftermarket part? Doesn't exist. Doesn't exist, okay. No. So let's give it a shot with the new tool I bought. So the new tool is going to do what now? It's going to replace the old VIN number to this car here. Basically, it's just going to override the VIN number. Is that legal? Yeah. Is it legit? I hope so. <laughs> All right, so what's the next what's the next move? Well, next move, we're going to grab the other laptop and let's see what happens. Sounds shady. So just for the sake of clarity here, mm -hmm. um, this isn't like VIN swapping or anything like that. No, it's no, not. It's definitely not. It's going to be legit. Yeah. So basically, you're just taking the information off the broken module. And put it to a used one. That's it. Put it to a used one so that yeah. it can operate yeah. the car. Okay. I don't think there's any problem here. It better not be. No. Because you're not modifying the VIN. Yeah. And, and it's it's not... It's not like you're manipulating the mileage no, or anything still, like no, that. Absolutely Every, not. So basically, everything about this X5 in its, it's computer gonna is going to be exactly the same. It's just going to be in a different, it's gonna run uh, a functioning module. Yeah, it's going to run better. Well, yeah. Almost there. What if it doesn't work? I have to give the bad news to the customer. Bad news for you too, because this was not a cheap tool. No, it's not. Thirty-three hundred dollars. Thirty-three hundred dollars. Yeah. Well, we'll find out here in a minute if it was worth it. So it's now it's writing a flash for the program. It's about as exciting as watching paint dry. All right, so we drove this in here, the 2012 BMW X5. Um, Misfiring, uh, lots of codes on the dash, bells, whistles, screaming at us. And so you scanned it and basically it's telling you that the DME, DME is shot and needs to be yeah. replaced. And normally that's a factory ordered part and costs about 18 to 2 grand. 18 to 2 grand. But you have a better solution. Yes, I hope. Uh, we're gonna try to erase the VIN number of a used part and clone it with the uh, with the car. Okay, so you picked up a salvaged one. Yeah, and I got all the hardware, and we're just gonna follow the instructions right here. And so you've got some stealthy kind of software yeah. that allows you to do that. So this isn't normal practice. No. Okay. So. What do we have to do? We're fired up, Doc. Let's see what we end up well, with. We got the uh, um, wire solder. I'm just gonna hook up the harness. Got that going. So to have you do this, it's probably about what you charge about a third of the cost of probably yes of having to pay two grand for a new brand new part from BMW. So. We got the power supply and we're ready to roll and see what happens. Do it to it. Let's go try it. salvage numbers there. Okay, let me see that. Okay, so that's the salvage part. Mm -hmm. yeah. So logically, it's just, just take, well, let me ask you this. 
just taking a salvage part that you got for the car it should not no be able to I just try, yeah i tried that there was no way yeah so it should not work yeah i tried to program it i tried everything no, there is no way What you're saying is you just did the impossible. Yeah. <laughs> cool. Okay, so all we got left is to reprogram the car and then give it to the customer. I'm gonna have to stop calling you the ninja and start calling you the surgeon. Probably, yeah. <laughs> All right, so walk me through this. So, so after, the, uh, wait, look, I want to make sure that I understand. So, okay, so you put the new salvage DME in the car. It allows the car to start, mm -hmm. but you need to do, what are you doing now? I need to update the software on the car. Okay. Which we're going to connect to BMW. It's downloading the files, successful, so we'll see. It's going to take about like 10 minutes. And so, why do you need to update the software? Because it's basically um, there is no software on the on the DME. There is it's not assigned to the DME. Okay, so when we're assigning it to the car right now. Oh, gotcha, gotcha. Yeah. Okay, it's gonna be legit. So the new computer's taking the. Updates. Taking all the updates mm -hmm. successfully. Mm -hmm. Success. So now you're ready to end session. Yep. Let's see if it's gonna fire the game. Ooh, that sounds good. left is we have to um, realign the injector and that's gonna take some time so it's gonna take some time is you're just gonna tell the computer to do it and it'll yeah it'll but I have to get the numbers from each, each one each one yeah. the fault codes detected the lights and bells and whistles and alarms are no longer on the dash and I'll call it or the i drive system like butter take it for a test drive and call the customer awesome thank you